Hi, I'm Ron McCoy, your child's summer adventure teacher. Prepare yourself for adventures aplenty as we head into ancient Africa. Math represents a sizable portion of your child's summer adventure experience. The links to each of the math lessons can be found in the small version of Mr. McCoy's Summer Adventure Weekly Log. That way you can see what your child is learning and it might even be a great idea to ask your child questions about what he or she learned during the day. This week your child had the opportunity to work through these lessons. Lesson 1, the goal was to interpret a multiplication equation as a comparison. Lesson 2's goal was to recognize that a digit represents 10 times as much as the digit in the place to its right. Lesson 3's goal was name numbers within 1 million by building understanding of place value chart and placement of commas for naming base thousand units. Lesson 4's goal was to read and write multi-digit numbers using base 10 numerals, number names, and expanded form. And coming next Monday is Lesson 5, the goal for which is compare numbers based on meanings of the digits using greater than, less than, equal to, to record the comparison. Math continues to be a sizable portion of each day of your child's summer adventure experience. Be sure to access the links to those lessons to see exactly what your child is doing each day. African culture and reading skills also is a focus each day at summer adventure. This week we focused on the introduction to Africa via a video on the big screen, Africa's geography, and your child had the opportunity to participate in an African map adventure. They will also have the opportunity to assume new identities of an African king or queen, and he or she will research his or her alter ego. We also had the opportunity to use latitude and longitude in more than one way. And coming next week, we will launch African Beginnings to learn all about what happened in ancient Africa. It's kind of like uh, an opportunity to time travel back approximately 500 years, sometimes longer ago than that, to find out all about the African Beginnings, how modern-day Africa got to the place where it is today. This Friday, June 10, your child will receive a Friday folder. It will contain graded assignments from this past week. You get to keep those assignments, but please send that Friday folder back to school with your child on Monday, June 10th, if at all possible. Your child will continue to receive a Friday folder every Friday that we are in Summer Adventure. Please sign on the line and send it back with your child so that you get instant feedback on how your child is doing at Summer Adventure. For a window into your child's Summer Adventure experience, please follow us on Twitter. The link can be found in the small version of Mr. McCoy's Summer Adventure Weekly Log. Your child is already doing great things in Summer Adventure. To see exactly what he or she is doing, please follow us on Twitter. African Folktale Theater has begun. It's a great opportunity for your child to immerse himself or herself in African culture. The links to African Folktale Theater, presented by yours truly, can be found in this week's edition and each week's edition of Mr. McCoy's Summer Adventure Weekly Log. Uh, I also included a link to one of the African folktales that we will be doing next week as a preview of coming attractions. Feel free to click on those links to see exactly what your child gets to see on the big screen each and every day of Summer Adventure. The novel Zulu Dog by Anton Ferreira is another of those things that I do and I put on iMovie and then upload on YouTube and present on the big screen. As we do that, we have the opportunity to talk about literary techniques, setting, character, foreshadowing, those kinds of things. The links to those read-alouds, just like the African folktales, can be found in the small version of Mr. McCoy's Summer Adventure Weekly Log. Feel free to watch those and ask your questions about what is happening. It's all about a boy named Vusi, uh, his dog Gillette, a girl named Shirley. It takes place in post-apartheid Africa. It is perfect for summer adventure. 
Be sure to ask your child what's happening in Zulu Dog. Be sure to check out the article entitled Motivating Your Child. It talks about how you should fill your child's world with reading and help him or her understand that reading is not just a school task, but that it is an integral part of his or her life. It talks about how your child should have that perspective that reading is a way to learn information and not just a task that is done as a part of school. So for the full text of that article, please check out the small version of Mr. McCoy's Summer Adventure Weekly Log. Your child is already in the throes of reading a book for his or her book club. Your child has been assigned to a book club containing either three or four students. The book clubs are setting their own goals, reading and discussing what it is that they've learned. We're using Zulu Dog as a model for how a book club should run. Then I am guiding book clubs toward excellence asking thought-provoking questions and answering those questions, be sure to ask your child what his or her book club is reading and what's happening in the book that they are reading. Book clubs will continue right up through and including the last day of summer adventure. Yes, summer school is important. I consider summer adventure to be every bit as important as the regular school year. Please help your child to see it that way as well. It is super important that your child come to school with an attitude that it is important to keep focusing, working, and learning because what we are doing in Summer Adventure is helping to pave the way for your child's fifth grade experiences. We aren't just a summer babysitter. Truly, everything is very well planned, so please help your child to understand that Summer Adventure is an important part of his or her education. Coming next week, it's issue number three entitled Bang and Claw. It will be delivered to you for the week ending Friday, June 14, 2019. Please join us if you dare.